Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Oh look, an advertisement is basis for a game with Pest Terminator, the Western Exterminator. The Western Exterminator has since become a new company. The main character, Colonel Cleanup, or Mr. Little, or whatever his moniker happened to be at the time, was once an iconic character on the west coast of the U.S. Color Dreams never met a terrible idea that they wouldn't turn into a horrible game. Ronnie, the super rat, and his friends are multiplying and looking to infest every building they can. It's up to Colonel Cleanup to exterminate them and save the people from icky bugs and other pests. Mr. Little jumps with the B button and swings his hammer with the A button. The goal of each level is to smash each pest. Each screen can only hold up to five enemies on it at once, but may want to spawn many more. This requires you entering and exiting through doors many times to get them all. There are eight levels of pests to eradicate. Though two house and sewer levels mainly repeat themselves, the typical gameplay morphs slightly in levels five and seven when you fly a helicopter and dive into the sea. They still involve killing everything, though. The last level puts you on the moon, and is the toughest of them all. Rock throwers do a lot of damage, especially when nothing seems to hurt you in the first half of the game. If you destroy the enemies on the surface, you head to Ronnie's Lair. This is a small maze that requires you to kill all the enemies and collect a key card. Once everyone else is dead, you fight Ronnie behind the locked door. He's killed easily by jumping his projectile and attacking. Do this several times and he raises the white flag, signaling your victory. When it comes to grading Pest Terminator, the Western Exterminator on NES, graphics get a 2.0. Honestly, the graphics aren't bad. I think there's a lack of colors, but it could be way worse. Sound gets a 1.5. If the sound effects didn't annoy me so much, I kind of enjoyed the music on the levels, despite them repeating rather quickly and not being very deep. Gameplay gets a 1.5. The hammer takes too long to reset after a swing and forces you to take damage. Platform jumping is really weird. You have magnet in place to platforms, which I guess is helpful so you don't accidentally run off an edge. Difficulty gets a 1.5. There's no growth in your abilities. The levels don't progress in difficulty other than enemies doing more damage. Fun Factor gets a point five. I got bored with this one rather quickly, but wanted to see if it got any better. It didn't. Overall, Pest Terminator the Western Exterminator earns a 1.4 and gets a D+. Plus. I'm incredibly generous with this grade. There's not much that I see as redeeming or a reason to play this. Unless you like unlicensed games. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Pest Terminator, the Western Exterminator in the comments. And please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release. Because it is your destiny.